Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Dato. Um, what I want to do is just take everybody through uh, the vision uh, of e.co group. Um, uh, but the, the first thing I, I should do is really just thank everybody again. Uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it, it's wonderful to be in this position. Um, and uh, you know, this is the culmination point of really almost three years uh, from initial conception, the idea to uh, actually you know, standing here and being able to celebrate that we've actually got something up and running, we think is valuable um, from all sorts of perspectives. Um, so it really is an honor to be here as the focal point for a big team that has been working around the clock to, uh, to get to this point. And uh, the first person I should thank is, uh, is Dato Sri himself for uh, incredible leadership um, and uh, a driving force uh, behind this project who every step of the way is, uh, has supported the, the team um, uh, uh, you know, and provided guidance and leadership uh, you know, when it was every step of the way when it was required. I'd also like to thank the board of Asiata, um, who have been incredibly supportive of this right from inception. Uh, there's many members of the board of Asiata here. Unfortunately, Tansri Asman uh, can't be here, um, uh, but I know that he uh, wishes us well as well. Um, and, uh, and also I'd like to thank the board members of e.co group who've just been sitting down uh, this afternoon. Uh, it, it all went very well. so. Uh, Thank you, a big thank you to, uh, to all of these people. Um, uh, what, you know, I think that uh, the main thing to take forward some of the messages that uh, Dato Sri uh, mentioned is that you know, um, we, we think that this is uh, part of where the telecoms industry uh, has to go. We don't think that it's an optional thing. We think that the telecoms industry now has to move forward fairly rapidly more collaboration and uh, find ways of, of, of just working together and reducing uh, you know, parallel capacity, number of sites and hills, but also you know, deeper into the network, just more sharing. Um, you know, so uh, ultimately what this is about is improving quality of service to the, to the user. Um, and uh, it, it, you know, uh, this will be a contributor to, there's all sorts of other ways that this will happen, but you know, uh, this is a start uh, and a really important start, you know, certainly for the Asiata group, but perhaps also for the industry to just shift forward with this uh, more sort of open and collaborative uh, mindset. What we're about at uh, e.co group is uh, initially uh, using our seed assets, so 13, in fact it's now uh, 13,000 towers uh, because we've been growing a wee bit over the last uh, few months um, and then we've got 12,000 kilometers of fiber in Pakistan. You know, we are, uh, you know, uh, basically regional. Um, so we've got aspirations to certainly expand a bit within South Asia and Southeast Asia. Um, and with our, our five core assets, uh, in these five markets, we've, we're off to a really good start. Um, you know, I think that w one of the challenges that we have, and uh, you know, I know that there's quite a few uh, individuals in this room who represent our customer base, um, uh, is that there's too many towers in our markets. You know, at the moment, uh, we have multiple locations where you will see typically three, four, in some cases even in Pakistan, for instance, five towers. Uh, sitting very close to each other. Um, so uh, what we want to do at EDOC Group is to kick off you know, collaborative discussions uh, with a view to eventually take down that, some of that parallel capacity. We've had some very interesting discussions uh, along these lines in some of our markets, and there's still an awful lot more work to be done. And it may well be that some of you sitting in this room uh, could become partners with us uh, and, and share in that vision moving forward. I think it's very likely that, that in fact, uh, that's where we'll end up. So, uh, 
For us, it's all about partnership, really. This, this whole idea of uh, creating a telecoms infrastructure business, it really is about partnership. Um, so, uh, in terms of where we're headed at the moment, you know, fundamentally, this is what we're about. We're about you know, tower, tower structures, um, uh, you know, and, and creating you know, uh, uh, an outstanding passive play as Dato said, we're already you know, quite significant globally, um, but we want to grow from this uh, starting point. And we will grow both in terms of the volume that we are driving through our infrastructure um, by taking on more tenants and, you know, and, and doing it that way, but also uh, by looking for innovative solutions in uh, energy. It's quite interesting that in some of our markets now, grid energy is actually we believe becoming more expensive over the next two or three years than uh, uh, renewable um, uh, solutions. Um, so uh, there's quite a lot to go after, uh, we believe. And then uh, over time, as Dato said in his uh, few words, uh, field operations, uh, and then pass uh, possibly looking after active O&M and uh, you know, uh, every other aspect of uh, uh, tower management, as you would expect. The last block that came up here is on fiber, and uh, it's increasingly, uh, you know, an issue for the industry uh, that fiberization of sites uh, is required. Um, and we certainly feel that, uh, you know, in urban and semi-urban, we will have to fiberize uh, all of those sites within a period of time, probably sooner rather than later, especially with LTE being rolled out aggressively in Malaysia now. So uh, we are as much a fiber business as a, uh, especially in the last mile, as a as a passive power play moving forward. In terms of uh, you know where where we're heading, uh, we occupy a space um, which is in these yellow blocks at the moment. We aim to become absolutely you know, first in class um, in uh, you know pure passive management. But it may well be that, um, uh, for instance, in uh, 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 you know, the provision of Wi-Fi services, this is possibly an aspiration at the moment, but it may, may make very good sense for us to have a collaborative approach to the deployment of Wi-Fi, because we believe that for individual operators, uh, providing infill solutions at Wi-Fi hotspots is not necessarily working commercially it may make sense for us to do this collaboratively as well. It's just one example of where there could be more collaboration and adjacencies uh, for infrastructure players moving forward. Um, and these are some of the other areas that we uh, you know, uh, could move into over time. Um, in terms of uh, tower designs, uh, you know, we think that uh, India, pretty interesting model at the moment, you know, passive structures in India, are uh, hitting $15,000 per structure you know, uh, with a tenancy potential of two, two and a half. Um, so if the Indians can do it, I'm sure that you know, other operators around the region can do it, obviously have the benefit of scale. But one of the things that we're trying to do, obviously, by collaborating with our own towers and with other people's towers, it drives you know, large scale as well to try to hit you know, very interesting cost structures. And then uh, on fiber, you know, with microwave falling away, fiber coming in, you know, our 12,000 kilometers of fiber in Pakistan, uh, you know, is giving us a, a great sort of uh, start at understanding the fiber business and where it's going to go. Um, and also working with uh, potential partners in places like Malaysia, TM, and, uh, and other operators. So we believe that fiber, as I said earlier, is completely uh, intimately connected with our future and very important for, uh, for eDoco's story moving forward. And then energy as well, as I said earlier. So, you know, the, uh, uh, I, I should just say on energy, actually, that, that we do have an aspiration to reduce our overall carbon count. We are generating uh, or we're using 41 megawatt power across uh, the Asiatic group at the moment. We think that there's a good chance of reducing that uh, consumption down. 
And that's one of the reasons that we've decided to brand ourselves uh, in this way. Although e.co, as you will see shortly, actually is uh, a, a bit of a play in words. It represents all sorts of uh, concepts. So uh, this is broadly where we're head heading. You know, customer satisfaction is absolutely core. And, uh, and the two key subsets of that are uptime, keeping our customers happy, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know, obviously um, uh, increasing the uh, tenancies in our towers. Uh, and, and that way we feel that we'll be climbing up this, uh, this curve uh, quickly if we can you know, make progress in these two areas. But everything else is in a way a subset of those. Um, thank you to everybody here who's already supporting us, both customers. So this is our customer list around the region at the moment. Hopefully we've not forgotten anybody. Um, uh, and uh, I'm sure there's many more to come. I shouldn't forget about our existing partners. We've got, we're, I think there's representation in the room from uh, uh, you know, partners, JP Morgan team, uh, Ernst & Young as well and various other partners, PwC, shouldn't forget, who've been working very hard on this whole project. So thank you to our uh, existing partners as well. But, you know, the customer for us is what it's all about. And we really hope that we will uh, continue to improve performance and keep you happier and happier as, as, as we develop our relationship together. So um, this is what we are. You know, we're essentially about enabling connectivity for operators, but also you know, for governments and you know, anybody that needs telco services. Uh, but beyond that, we're even more, as you can see, these are a few of our uh, strap lines. And uh, you know, I think it's an exciting journey. Thank you very much for uh, coming along and uh, look forward to uh, joining the festivities later. So thank you very much.